tire lifting has become increasingly popular, but should you do it? The info out there can be confusing, so I delved into the science of tire lifting slash flipping to help you out. But before we begin, like this video and subscribe to this channel to grow our community. What is tire lifting? Tire lifting is a workout that involves using a tire as a weight resistance tool. The tire is typically filled with sand, water, or other heavy materials, and the person lifting the tire uses their body weight and sometimes additional resistance to move it up and down, side to side, or in circles. Some variations of tire lifting also incorporate cardio and plyometric movements, making it a full body workout. With that in mind, let's review the benefits. 5 Benefits of Tire Lifting This exercise can improve strength, endurance, stability, and overall functional fitness. Plus, it's exhilarating. Let's see how that works. 1. It's a full body strength training exercise. The tire lifting workout can increase muscle size and strength by engaging all your muscles. We're talking about your calves, thighs, glutes, lower and upper back, plus your arms and shoulders. Here's how it works. The resistance provided by the tire overloads the muscles, producing muscle hypertrophy. When the muscle is challenged with a weight that it is not used to, it will adapt and grow stronger. But how much weight should you use to see muscle strength? One study on coaches who use strongman implements like tires, ropes, and sleds shows that most trainers use one time the body weight for speed, two times the body weight for power, and three times the body weight for strength. However, another study observed that lifting light and heavy affects strength similarly. The main difference here is that this study used only two tire weights. The light one was 0.61 the participant's body weight, and the heavier one was 1.51 their body weight. Besides, this study noticed similar effects in endurance and repeated sprint ability RSA. 2. Tire lifting improves functionality. Tire lifting improves functionality because it makes your body move in different planes. You will move down and up, curve your back, and push with your arms when lifting tires. These movements can improve functional movement patterns, such as the ability to transfer weight from one foot to the other or maintain balance while standing on one leg. All this mimics natural movements you're doing in your daily life, such as carrying grocery bags, moving furniture, or lifting your kids. And remember, the purpose of working out for most people is to stay healthy and strong during day-to-day -day activities. Only a few people train for aesthetic reasons or bodybuilding. Most of us simply want to stay healthy and strong. According to a 2013 study, integrated training programs that incorporate agility, flexibility, balance, plyometric, and resistance exercises in a multiplanar fashion appear to be more optimal than isolated resistance training alone with improving functional performance measures. In addition, integrated programs improve movement quality, which may make individuals more efficient with their movements and reduce lower extremity injury risk. 3. Lifting tires makes you more powerful. Power is like having a really strong engine in a car. Scientists have studied how to make people stronger, and they've found that a good way to do this is by doing quick and strong movements that don't last very long. These movements should be at a level where you can do them for a short time, but they still make your muscles work really hard. One study shows that you get the best effects in power output if you're using customized loads of 30%, 40% and 50% of 1RM. 1RM stands for 1 repetition maximum and defines the maximum weight you can support during 1 repetition. The study found that this technique leads to an average power output increase of 12% after the first 4 training weeks and 18% after 8 weeks. 4. You can do tire flipping instead of deadlifts. Tire flipping can spruce up your workout, especially if you're tired of only doing deadlifts. Let's review some advantages. 1. Movement Pattern Tire flipping involves a unique movement pattern of lifting and rotating the tire using a combination of hip hinge, knee drive, and core stability. Deadlifts, on the other hand, involve standing upright with the feet shoulder width apart and lifting a weight off the ground using a hip hinge and knee drive. As such, tire lifting is better for functional strength. 2. Resistance Tire flipping requires more body strength and coordination than deadlifts, as the tire provides a heavy, unstable resistance. 3. Variety Tire flipping can add variety to your lower body workout because you're doing a new and challenging movement pattern. As such, 
it can help you avoid strength training plateaus and continue building up your resistance. 5. It improves cardio endurance. The tire lifting workout can increase cardiovascular endurance because it involves challenging the cardiovascular system to deliver oxygen and nutrients to the working muscles. The exercise requires continuous movement and can be performed at a high intensity, leading to an increase in heart rate and breathing rate. Getting your body used to this heart rate increase is how you improve your stamina in the long run. Here's a neat tip. Include high-intensity intervals when tire lifting. These short bursts of intense activity, followed by periods of rest or active recovery, have been shown to be particularly effective at improving cardiovascular endurance and overall fitness. Now, let's move on to the drawbacks of tire lifting. Three disadvantages of the tire lifting workout. One, it's not best for beginners. Beginners need proper guidance to perform the exercise correctly. Most newbies will round their backs too much, which puts pressure on the lumbar area. This can lead to herniated discs in the long run. Besides, beginners tend to keep the tire away from their bodies when lifting them because they have weak lower back muscles. Again, this is a dangerous position that can do more harm than good. So, if you're a beginner, do simpler exercises to strengthen your lumbar area first and start lifting lighter tires, particularly under the guidance of a personal trainer. Two, it can lead to injury. Lifting a heavy tire can put a lot of stress on the muscles, tendons, and bones, increasing the risk of injury in the long run. To be fair, that usually happens if you don't maintain the proper form, lift a tire that's too heavy, or use too much momentum. This can strain your shoulders, back, and knees, leading to rotator cuff tears, lower back pain, or knee pain. 3. It's costly and inconvenient. To begin tire lifting, you must either have a gym membership or purchase a tire. The first scenario is the simplest. In the second case, you will need to spend money to buy tires of different sizes and weights. And you'll need to invest in arranging a separate workout space in your home. Storing the tires outdoors can be another solution, but you'll need more time cleaning and maintaining them. That said, what do you think? Will you start tire lifting or are you already doing it? Let me know what you like and don't like about the exercise. But before we move the discussion to the comments, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the Fitness D channel.